The male Alabama Athlete of the Year Award is the fourth of eight new awards this year given at the Academy's Award of Sports. The program just keeps getting bigger, doesn't it, every single year. This award was initiated to recognize two athletes, a male and a female, who have either attended a college or university in the state of Alabama, who are native to the state of Alabama, or who have been a resident of this great state for at least 10 years. The winner of this award is a gentleman who has been likened to a fellow named Lawrence Taylor, and not without reason. And it goes to a fellow who come next week will be drafted, probably number two in the draft, by the illegal monopoly, duly found to be such in every courtroom in America where the issue has been tried. He will be drafted by an owner who is a positively beneficent man. He took his team under cover of night aboard the Mayflower, deserting Baltimore, going to Indianapolis, and the team should now appropriately be named the Indianapolis Pilgrims. <laughs> and the young man who'll be getting the award has a strength of character that the owner doesn't even remotely approach. Before I'm done with Cornelius Bennett tonight, the truth of the matter is he may sue the illegal monopoly, beat them in court, wipe out the draft, get a job in the American way anywhere he can to the highest bidder, because that's what he deserves. But let's go to the videotape on Cornelius Bennett. The University of Alabama has had a long-standing reputation of producing great football talent over the years, many of whom have made their way to the professional ranks. Cornelius Bennett is expected to be drafted in the top three selections of the upcoming NFL draft. He's a three-time All-America, easily recognized for his terrorizing and aggressive play in the field. The 1986 SEC Player of the Year, Bennett was named Most Valuable Player after his 11-tackle performance in the Crimson Tide Sun Bowl victory over Washington. Cornelius was named this year as the Lombardi Award winner. You're marking him as the best college lineman in the nation. This year, he became only the third defensive player in Alabama history to win Southeastern Conference Player of the Year honors.